So guys, I cut his hair. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to say that. Why you vlog it? How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to do a quick vlog of an outing. Today is the first time that we're going out since this pandemic. Um, we're basically going to see Obina and Iberi. Obina is Chris's brother and Iberi is his wife. So they're having like something small in their house for an another set of our friends. They're going to go because they are relocating. So we're going to wish them farewell. Anyways, I want to just, I don't feel like doing makeup today, I'm not even going to lie Because I, I spent the entire night cooking So I cooked stuff for today I'll just make a short clip of that just before we head out We're supposed to have left since, but my stomach has been giving me so many issues But anyway, so I'm just going to do foundation um, After foundation, I'm going to do um, this thing So today is the first time filming inside my bedroom So it's kind of odd because I have a mirror here, like down here, but the camera is here, so I have to like shuffle between the so part of me. But anyways, first thing I do, I'm just going to prime my face. Um, I decided to look simple today because it's, it's summer, it's hot, so I didn't want to really stress myself a lot. So I'm just going to prime a bit. So before I came here, I took a shower and I moisturize my face sorry it's very hard to, i don't know how makeup artists do it but it's very hard to talk and touch my face so when i prime i also prime my neck For my foundation i'm using the becca foundation this is an absolute full coverage foundation so you don't even have to use too much it covers up spots it covers up hyperpigmentation it covers up everything so if you're going for like a simple look and you want to conceal spots without using like a concealer this is like a very good foundation that you might want to use to reduce your layers as well. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to get my nails and that's Manny Petty and I'm also probably going to do my eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows have tried throughout the pandemic because I just kept following the line that the esthetician did before the pandemic and I was fine. So I'm just trying to just into my brow a little bit. Guys, this is not a makeup video. So just get ready with me and go for my first outing since the beginning of the pandemic. Guys, once I'm done sculpting my brows, I'm going to finish off with some powder. Guys, this makeup was five minutes. It's just something that I do when I just want to go out, but I still want to look like I'm actually awake. You know what I mean? The last portion of this would be lip gloss. That's all I'm wearing. I just love how lip gloss makes you look like you're not doing too much, but you're doing something. I'm just going to apply some oil to my hair. And I'm going. Guys, in my previous video, if you watch my previous vlog, that's the girls outing vlog, I talked about my hair. If you're curious to know things I use on my hair, how many years my hair is like with regards to how many years natural I've been my growth struggle because I do have to force you hair if you want to know my growth struggle when my hair reach like a linear point in the growth please let me know in the comment section and I will make you should let me know what videos you guys want to see like you've seen some of the videos that I've done so if there's something that I do that you feel like you want to see more, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely film a video for you guys. So this is the final look. I don't know if I should leave my head down or I should pack it slightly. What do you guys think? Slightly put some extras falling to the side. Or down because I can be very indecisive. So, should I pack my hair up like this or should I leave it down? Okay, so I guess I'm leaving it down. Decision has been made. Decision has been made. No, no, no. I, since I made I'm packing the hair up, I think I should, it's time to kind of wear it down. 
So guys, I'm going to make short videos as we go. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye-bye. We made a quick stop at Dollarama. Dollarama is our dollar store here in Canada. They sell items from $1 and up. We are stopping here basically to get party supplies. And when I got to the store, they were observing strict physical distancing um, rules, which was very, very nice. Um, I picked up some foil pans. The foil pans, we intended to use it to warm the food in the ovens. You know, when you're going to an African party, people will not really come early. so. We had to have backup to make sure that we were warming the food continuously as people came. Guys, Alarma is just nice. When you go there, you just want to buy everything. Because there are so many cheap things to see. So many things that you're like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. But in real sense, you don't actually need any of those. Anyway, so I went to pick up some cutleries, disposable cutleries. I picked up some disposable plate serviettes and I got some disposable shot glasses because those are party essentials and they're so cheap here so you don't want to be going anywhere else to buy your party supplies when you can go to Dollarama or any other dollar store near you. Everything I bought today came up to under ten dollars. Can you imagine? I think it was about nine dollars something or eight something. But just imagine buying all those things that you can see for less than ten dollars. Guys, if you're shopping for party supplies, you need to go to a dollar store so you can save money. You're saving money, you're also saving yourself stress because after the party, you don't want to be washing up. So I'm just going to toss my stuff in the car and we're going to zoom to Obi and Iberi. It's our first time going to their new place, so I'm so excited about seeing their new place as well. Guys, when you get to Toronto, if you don't meet traffic on Highway 401, then it's really a good day. But I follow one in Toronto and traffic are really synonymous so I always prepare my mind to get in traffic but what's not to love about Toronto? Anyways, we're just making our way further midtown to see Obi and Iberi. some clips of midtown toronto guys i prefer midtown to downtown because there's always less people on the road i feel like there is more air here because downtown has a lot of houses buildings and stuff and usually there'll be a lot of people on the road guys even with corona you see people a lot on the road so i'm just really happy to be midtown because there's also less traffic here as well got here we did our little tour i love this place guys this is a berry my chef and healthy healthy food recipe i don't even know the word to use but berry is just wonderful and this is opina i'm just going to take a look at the house a bit before i bother obina to say hi again so guys this is obina like i said obina is chris's elder brother and yeah that's our family here in canada we started talking about the healthy snacks that Iberi made. Iberi made some healthy snacks. But the reason why this part is not unmuted is because they were playing Oliver the Cook. And guys, copyright, copyright. Guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a soccer for a great view. We're all the way up on the 29th floor. And guys, this is their view. This is their view. Like, I am just in love with this view. It's just amazing what architects and builders have done like being up here and being able to look at the world like you're looking from a bird's eye is just amazing what is there not to love about the great view guys i just love it oh the shrimp will go on top of this 
superior, you're high tech. Oh. This healthy life did not come out to play. <laughs> this is looking so complicated. I'm like, guys, this is looking like, go out, go to the restaurant to eat. But does it take time to make? No? My Nigeria, my solidarity. This is Nigeria flag. Nigeria flag appetizer. Okay. I'll be your taster, don't worry. I'm not afraid. My chick is here. You made jello rice. Yeah. That's there some hearty. Love. For this Iberi's Niger Solidarity appetizer she's making, she's just mashing the avocado and she has put some pepper in it and now she's going ahead to spread the avocado directly on the cucumber. Following that she's going to place the shrimp on this layers that she has created. Guys this is absolutely amazing. If you love a yummy and healthy snack, this is a good so I'll legit eat this at a restaurant and I'll pay for it. So I hope you guys can try it because I will be trying it after today. Yeah, I'm doing these things are nice, o -o -o over the bar. Like that, that, that mushroom. When I saw it, I saw what I told her. I told her that see this thing. That mushroom thing is nice though. See, no, you don't understand. It is a brand. Babe, do you like, like it? We are just we're casting. Like, well. Chicken likes things to be one. Like he likes one thing. Okay. Like he does not like plenty things together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Bro. Bumba, bumba. See his face, it's healthy snack, why are you it? <laughs> so here are some of the snacks and small chops I made. I made some chicken wings, some puff puff, I made um, asun gizzard, asun goat meat, and I made some peppered chicken. Guys, you don't want to imagine how much everyone that came here today ate. Like, we all ate a lot. And then Iberi made food as well. So please, don't even count calories, don't come at me. Guys, this is Hamas Nello. A very good healthy appetizer. It's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I don't want to be for all the weight water. Surprise. Oh, so I want the avocado oh, thing here again. Is that from the soil? Guys, so we started eating our food. This is a mushroom and cheese melt a berry made in the oven. That was absolutely yum. I don't like cheese on a normal day, but that combo was just beautiful. So a berry is giving us healthy snacks back to back, guys. So you might want to try that as well if you're looking for healthier options for snacking. It's not much you can collect it. Like it's not much, it's once money. It, it's, 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 yeah. Before, mm -hmm. yeah. when we used to hire Indian people to, work, to do the better work, yes. we always kind of look down on them like, yeah. you know, these Indian guys, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know their, not, their quality of work is not that great. Yeah, 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 yeah. They will have to fly expertise to go there and manage them and blah, blah, blah. Now, so Microsoft, so Adobe, no, a lot of the these huge good. companies now are being run by the it's just Indian Indian for sure. For sure. Even 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 Chinese in Nigeria. Nigerians, you have to look down. Running stuff in America. You said? Are you not going to India? India is in America. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I said around the black people running things. Point that make. No, there are. What is it? Like you have to look at. See, I have to keep on growing. Yeah. So so you get to this point. See, see. There are people. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, 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 wait. There is the ghetto in America. You can't expect people who grew up in the ghetto for generations. Just wake up and have sense. That's I agree. It has a role to so more guests came, we continued to chat, listen to some good music, we met new people. At sundown, it was time to go home. This was an amazing, amazing get together. I was so happy that we were able to get engaging with other people. It's refreshing to see other people that are not yourself. The next day, I had to do some deliveries for business and some self care. Because this is my spa where I went to get my manicure and pedicure done. This was absolutely relaxing after like a long couple of months and I felt like it was much needed guys. I have done my nails finally. No more cheap fingernails like what you guys saw before. I do hope you enjoyed this vlog because we are at the end. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. See you in my next video.